And a busy one as well. We've of course been following this breaking news out of Akron this afternoon after a massive fire ordered and uh, led to evacuations. The city of Akron says fire and police are evacuating a half mile radius around a business on Rosemary Boulevard. That is near the Akron Fulton Airport. You can see the airport there on the right. Now, just within the last few minutes, the city held the news conference, which we carried for you live and had updates on the hazmat situation. Our Kaitor K is live for us in Akron right now. Kaitor, we can see the smoke plume behind you. Have you seen any changes over the last half hour or so that would lead us to believe that the fire could be getting better or worse? Is the situation still unfolding, obviously? Well, Betsy, what I can tell you is about 45 minutes ago, a loud boom came over from the area of where the plant is, and it was loud enough that standerbys screamed and jumped. And then at this time right now, we are hearing a constant pop, pop, popping coming out of the plant. So I'm going to step out of the way now so you guys can get a better look of everything. But this is exactly why Akron Fire Chief Leon Henderson tells us that they have evacuated all nearby apartment complexes and set up that half mile safety perimeter because he's afraid that the chemicals and propane tanks in there could cause a big explosion. The chief says they were called to the scene a bit after one o'clock today. He was told that workers in the plant were transporting chemicals when something went wrong, causing the fire to start, and then it set off a ripple effect of more and more chemicals catching on fire. He says, unfortunately, he had to call back all the firefighters from the plant because they were struggling and unable to isolate the flames, and it was becoming too dangerous. The next step in this is try to let it burn itself out from the fuel itself, let the fuel burn because we cannot risk anybody going in there to basically try to put a hose line on there. Because of the integrity of that building, we had drones up in the air, seeing the infrastructure and the uh, walls inside or the interior walls are, have been compromised. Once it breaches that other interior wall where those propane tanks are, that's when the explosion will happen. Now, Chief Henderson says that this is a rare thing for them to have to retreat from a fire and go into defensive mode. But he said he's thankful that no plant workers or firefighters were injured today. And he tells us that it could be hours before the fuels in the fire burn themselves out. Back to you on studio. Yeah, the safety forces, of course, would never approach that building uh, and put lives at risk of our first responders. So certainly they will be uh, keeping an eye on that situation. Kai Torque live for us in Akron on the scene. Thank you.